Hi everyone, I'm Zinni and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm speaking on five biggest mistakes YouTubers or new YouTubers make here on YouTube. So one of the biggest mistakes YouTubers here make on YouTube is paying less attention to their thumbnails and titles. Firstly, take quality time in creating and taking a picture for your thumbnail and also make sure you have like a very good and detailed title for your video because trust me, that's the first impression. And we all know that first impression matters a lot. That's what people see. People that don't know you from anywhere, people that haven't seen your face before, your thumbnails and your titles are what will impress or motivate them to watch your videos. Take quality time in creating your thumbnail and also writing up your title for your video. So secondly on that, your thumbnails and your title. Spend tries, if you spend 10 minutes in creating your thumbnail for your video, spend tries that time. If you spend 30 minutes, spend tries that time. Yeah, I know that people that doesn't like put so much effort into making that thumbnail, don't spend 30 minutes in creating their thumbnail. So spend try the time you normally use in creating your thumbnail you all know that the more time you spend on your backlog thing is how much better it looks or it comes out to be so spend more time spend quality time in creating and making your thumbnail i have the video up here on the apps in which you can use in creating your thumbnail so you can just look up the video i'll put it up here for you guys to watch it and learn how to make your thumbnails professionally as a beginner or as an advanced youtuber the apps are for free right there when you check it out so now number two research your content first let me move to the new youtubers if you're a new youtuber and starting up your youtube um, channel don't start it with content like get to know me and um, this is who i am my this my dad because literally nobody knows who you are nobody even cares to know who you are unless they have a value that they get from you unless you created that amount of like audience that's when people won't care to know what you do, what's your name, where you come from, and all that get to know me stuff. So avoid doing stuff like that. As you need to but look for content that are valuable to people, to audience that want to watch, so that you gather subscribers and also gather viewers. Secondly, on that research, this one is for advanced and like people that spend little time on YouTube. Gather information about the particular content you want to put out there for your audience is very, very important. It helps you gather audience, it helps you gather people that look out for that particular video and that increases your views. That makes you create a larger community on YouTube. So gather information that does put value to people's life. Make sure you gather information about that because the more information you pass, the more audience you gather, the more community you grow here on YouTube. And that is researching your content, I would like to introduce you to scripting. Scripting also really helps in um making research when you are researching always take a book and a pen and write down things that you get so that you don't forget any information you pass across to your audience when you have that written down when you're about to film that content you just take it look at it and just like see it into the camera so that helps you to not forget to pass that information you want to pass that is important that, that people want to hear or why they click your videos so scripting is also very important as a new youtuber as an advanced youtuber as even a professional youtuber always script. scripting is very very important thirdly is check the video count on youtube so you don't want to create content whereby people don't watch this content so i will put a detailed video on the screen on how to check video count on youtube so this helps you to know if this particular content you want to put out to your audience and what people want to watch or what people will be searching about because you can get how people um, search if they search for this content if they watch this content if they want to know about this content so you can literally see the information concerning that content you want to put out the trust whatever it is you put out on youtube many thousands of people have put that out so yours will make a difference definitely put that out there but make sure you know if that video actually has like good count on youtube because if you're someone that gets like easily demoralized or you don't get you get easily demotivated when you don't have views or your numbers are not like going up as much as, as much as you want it to be and when, when that happens it just makes you like relax and you don't want to make other content please check these things out before you check create the content so that you don't get so relaxed or you don't get um, demotivated in creating the particular content so here's a detailed video on how to check if the video or the content you want to put up on youtube are what people want to see or people watch so yeah, i'll put it right here on the screen for you guys to see so you want to immediately put in the content you want to create in the search bar then when you do that you tap in filters you see an option where you can put in video and also tap on this piece so you can see if the video counts for the week is making sense and yeah as you can see yeah, the numbers here is very favorable so it shows that the content is favorable 8.6k in four, in four days with 7k in four days so yeah that's how you can check your video account guys now this is the fourth mistake youtuber makes you on youtube and this one is very important to me like your first 30 seconds of your youtube video matters a lot guys it does matter trust me and i'm never joking about that your first 30 seconds or 10 seconds or 20 seconds of your video in fact your first 
one minute of a video matters a lot so yeah guys let me break it down into two steps so that you guys know what i'm trying to talk about the first 10 seconds of your video is the main deal don't want to make your first 10 seconds saying unnecessary things and don't make unnecessary long intro as in youtubers and advanced YouTuber. if you are someone that relay information out to your audience your 30 seconds matters a lot it's very very captivating avoid not just really long um, intro as a youtuber because trust me it's not important just go straight to the point for example of a long intro you go by saying hi i'm zeni welcome back to my channel a new subscriber i want you guys to do this i do this i do that and you now go ahead to put like 50 of your fine ass pictures on instagram here on your intro for anybody that really click the video click the video to like see what exactly your title is saying your thumbnail is saying let them see that in 30 seconds so always make sure your 30 seconds matter avoid long intros if you're doing a vlog that might make sense that's very reasonable but if you're doing like a diy you know like it has so much information to give out avoid unnecessarily long intros you get me the first seconds of your video must immediately interpret what you inputted in your thumbnail or your title so if you're saying how to make how to make a mac and cheese um pasta don't go about saying hi guys so today i want to just go straight to the point like you might introduce yourself and like make yourself relatable to your audience so they get to know you a bit personally but please don't avoid doing that don't stretch that for too long always make sure that if you're doing like um okay how to make this on youtube how to do that how to do that make sure that your 30 seconds immediately interpret interpret what you put in your thumbnail or your title so that you just hold them down at the end you can say whatever you want to say people will still stay but you've gotten their time so that 30 seconds really matter make sure your first your first 30 seconds is very enlightening very educating very clear and make sure information is really passed across in the first 30 seconds of your video so without further ado let's move to the last point under the five biggest mistakes youtubers make here on youtube youtubers don't follow youtube guidelines and rules most youtubers or either new advanced always skip this process which is in fact the most important part of you uploading the video always look out for youtube rules youtube guidelines so the purpose of this is to help you avoid copyright strikes and claims copyright claims can be removed which i will do that if you guys want to um, do a video concerning that but copyright strikes cannot be removed if you have up to three strikes on youtube then gone your channel is gone so please uh, try to avoid all these things and you can't put in so much work so much money so much investment and time into going on your channel and not get copyright strikes that's like that's like i don't even want that for anybody so do cut out for this read it and understand it very well and make sure you follow all guidelines that brings us to the end of this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video i have a lot of things to also say i have like more tips to drop make on mistakes with youtubers make you on youtube you want to see a part two a comment down below in the comment section and don't forget to give me a thumbs up drop a comment down below with about this video what you learned or what you want me to do next and i'll put some playlist up here for you guys to watch i drop other youtube tips on how you can get by on youtube i also put that in the description box to check it out and get a line on how you can grow your youtube channel so yeah that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it and then you did if you want to see this face next time subscribe so lastly i upload videos twice a week wednesdays and sundays so your post notification bell should be on to know when i post new videos so you can get notified and yeah I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Mm. Everything that happens is motivation.